In this one, I'm gonna be installing these three into one LED hog lights on my Sportster 72, as the indicators on the number plate bracket are defective in New South Wales, so they've gotta go. Alrighty, I'll start off by removing the seat. The next thing to do is to take off these fender strut covers. Now I'll disconnect the plug to the LED number plate bracket and I didn't wire this in previously so I'm going to have to try and work out how it's all wired up. So after having a look at the wiring, it's actually a pretty simple setup. As you can see, there are two plugs. Both of these plugs have four wires going into them for the factory 3-in-1 indicators which a previous owner removed. The LED number plate bracket only requires the use of one of these plugs for the running lights, stop light and the ground, whilst it also utilises each indicator wire from both of the plugs, being the purple wire on the right and the brown wire on the left. Now I'll remove this bolt which secures the fender onto the frame by using a T40 Torx socket. So once I remove this fender strut by removing these three bolts, the fender is going to want to drop down. So I'm going to put a block of wood up and underneath to hopefully stop it from falling. Now the fender is removed, I can go ahead and cut off this plug as I'll need to wire my 3 into 1 indicators into both of the factory Harley plugs. Now I'm going to mount my 3 into 1 indicators onto the fender strut cover as I can't mount them directly on the fender strut because the thread on the indicators aren't long enough to go through the fender struts. As the 3 into 1 indicator is now hooked up on the fender strut cover, I'm going to put it back on the bike so I can measure how long I need to extend the wires. So as you can see the wires don't reach the plugs so we're going to have to lengthen them by using this grey wire which I've got here. So for anyone who wants to wire the hog lights into their factory Sportster wiring, don't take note of the colours coming out of the grey wires here as the wires you can see here aren't going to be the same colour as the factory wiring as this is the wiring extension we're hooking up to be able to reach the factory plugs. I will however tell you which wires from the hog lights need to go into your factory wiring. For the indicators, the blue and brown wire from the bike needs to go to the blue wire on the hog lights. For the ground, the black wire from the bike goes into the black wire on the hog lights. For the running light, the solid blue wire on the bike goes to the yellow wire on the hog lights. And last but not least, for the stop light, the blue and red wire from the bike goes to the red wire on the hog light. So as we've extended the wiring to the hog lights, they're now long enough to reach the plugs. So what I have to do is remove the hog lights and drill a hole in the blanking plates to allow the fender bolts to go through. As you can see, it needs to be drilled out right here. So with these blanking plates, they don't come included with the indicators and you need to purchase them separately from hog lights and they're about 50 bucks. Pretty crazy for a little bit of stainless steel and because they're stainless steel, they're quite hard to drill through. So gradually increase your drill size when you're drilling it, otherwise it's gonna take you a while. So as we've drilled out the blanking plates, we can reinstall the fender struts with the indicators attached. So another thing I'll be doing is wiring in the number plate bracket just to utilise the running lights and the tail lights, but I won't be using the indicators. So what we're doing now is cutting off the plug to the number plate bracket so we can loop the number plate wiring into the hog lights and once they're wired together, we'll connect it directly to the factory Harley wiring.
So that's the 3-in-1 oval hog lights installed on my Sportster 72. Yes, I know there will be people that say these indicators were much larger, but here in New South Wales, they are too close together to be legal. And yeah, you can argue these aren't much further apart, but they're legal. So now I won't get a defect for riding the bike. Anyway, that'll do it for this one. Thanks very much for watching. And as always, I'll catch you in the next one. See ya.